Dr. Mapel Funman. I'm a lecturer from National University of Singapore. So it's very nice to have you today, your time, see? I know you're very busy people, and it's good that we're here. Although we're a bit, a bit late, okay? But, um, well, you're here because we have the same interest, right, to use technology for teaching. Can I have a show of hands? How many of you are teachers, lecturers, or teach anybody? You teach, right? In fact, I think for those who don't raise our hands, we are all teachers. We teach people because we communicate, we share ideas over lunch with our colleagues too. So we are all teachers. Small group, large group. Okay? Now for those of us who like to use technology, um, what you saw just now, it could be uh, happen to you. Because right, there's some hiccups on technology that we can't control. It's good to have a plan B, right? So maybe to engage the audience first, then you let the worry pass to the team. The lecturers is not supposed to be worried about the technology. Oh, I prepare all this, and then, then you get uh, affected by your emotions. So it is uh, my first time in France giving a lecture. It is my third time in France, second time in Paris, um, but first time giving a seminar. So it's very unusual for me because when I give seminar like this, I like to walk around, just how I teach interactive. But I know that uh, this is for recording, and it would be quite tough for the cameraman to shift the focus, you see. And wearing a mic is also a bit unusual, since normally when I write this, you hear your own voice, then you don't have to speak so loud. But I'll get used to it, don't, don't worry. If you have any question, please stop me anytime because we are communicating, all right? So I'll stand here, I'll keep still, okay? <laughs> First experience. So today's topic is to create MOOC videos with Lightboard. Now, we have a whiteboard in the room in almost every classroom in the university around the world. Anybody have used the blackboard before? Yeah, the board, right? Yeah, long time ago. Now, imagine, imagine, right? Imagine this is a blackboard or whiteboard back to when we were very young, five years old, six years old, seven years old. The teacher, okay, we are, you are the students, right? What do you do when you see the teacher writing on a board? What will you do? You take notes, yeah, very good students. What else? You, you see my back, maybe uh, you don't let the teacher, you just say some sign, you know, like, you know, do something funny, or you pass paper to your friends, or you talk to them, right, or you play some games. So these are time wasted. Of course, you remember those memories, it's good. But um, I thought that there's a better way to engage our students better with the time, because now everybody's so busy with so many things to know. And one way is to use the flip classroom. How many of you here knows about the flip classroom? Flip, and how do you say in French? Class avec? Avec C. On that, ah, okay, in press, okay. Class avec C, okay, good. Yes, so this is um, how I cultivate my teaching at the university. This is not new, but I change a bit different. Um, I like to, when I meet students like you, right, we like to do things together. This is more interactive, and they can prepare the materials, the contents at home before I come, or even after the class. So a bit on the um, class, class d'envier? Class inversé? Yes, OK. So the traditional model, when I was a student too, I think all of us, the teachers said talk, even right now, OK? This is OK, because it's traditional. Face-to-face -face lecture, homework is doing problems, unguided. I recall that when I was young, I had some trouble answering tutorial questions. What do I do? I asked my parents. They're not chemists. They can't help me. They're not, you know, maybe some simple math is fine. I call my friends. But in those days, telephone, we have one per household. It's not so easy, right? And then when you call, and then the mother answer, why are you calling my daughter? <laughs> this uh, then is, okay, never mind, okay? <laughs> then, yeah. So now for the case, it's easy. They have the Snapchat or the Instagram, you know, fine, very good. But I thought that we can enhance using technology now, flip classroom, because the YouTube advancement since 2005, so popular among all of us. How can we use it to our advantage as educators? So we change it, and it's better because the difficult problems is always where we give up, right? Class, you listen, it's easy. But we know that it's easy in, easy out. We don't return inside, right? Okay? Yeah. So any students complain, you know, it's so hard in the exam, I don't know. Then the lecturers complain that, how come you don't know this? So everybody's not happy. But with this, there'll be few people not happy. Okay? We all know that we learn best by doing, right? Hands-on, like practicum, like an internship, 
and also even better by teaching others, if you're okay. So this is reference. And I find that using video, students can revisit because everybody is on the bell curve. You have the fast students, slow students, and different language barriers. Sometimes we have very strong in our science, but language-wise, it's not so nice. Some professors, we do not, uh, like me, I don't speak very good French. If I teach in French, it's so, so bad. Then it is not the problem of the lecturer. Maybe the, the accent, all this. People might want to go through again. Okay, they have this liberty. If you do not record the class, it's just one time, you are sick, the snowstorm is over. It is not fair. It's so, unjust. Right? Yes. So, you can see the difference here. Mm. Now, right. So, we see that, right, if I flip the classroom, we are having more time that students can learn more. You see the orange color versions? Yeah. And then the things that take place in a lesson time, right, we can do things that's more meaningful, meaningful, okay, because it's together, teamwork. But does it mean that when you do flip classroom, it's all about recording videos like this? Hmm. I see somebody agreeing, yeah? Some people not sure, giving me the look, okay? It might not be this, because if we just record our classes, then uh, we are not changing the way we do it in a classroom. We have to record videos, but at the same time, we have to reinvent the tutorials questions, right? Engage in small groups in the classroom. So it's not just video, say do, no, okay? Spend some time, right? How do we working more difficult problems in small teams, right, in the class? Those take some hard work. So today I'm going to show you the light board. You might have seen it, so bear with me for a moment. Right. Yeah, magnetic resonance. Oh, so this is connected. In short for tennis, is NMR. Nuclear magnetic resonance. It is a very popular yeah. uh, analytical tool for chemists. For organic chemists, for all oh, chemists. In the apartment, the stilo? Still? Syllabus, it's okay. How do you apply this technique <laughs> in organic chemistry? So to be specific, you'll be analyzing a proton NMR. Ah, wait. Don't mark. Okay. Oh, sorry. Yes, correct. This one thing also. Well, I should have noticed that, right? Why I am seeing something and off you are frowning? Because I didn't turn this off. <laughs> so yeah. Build a good rapport with your student and you know. Speak up when you don't see anything. Okay? Hello. A hydrogen nuclei okay. with one proton. Just compare. No I'm doing something similar. This is what we look at. Blocking, not blocking. Fine, you can see this, right? But is there anything different you notice? The four key elements would be the first. Look there, compare. Which hand am I using? Oh, I'm right-hander, right? How do you say it in French? Doit. Doit. Mm. But here, I'm left-hander. So, I try again. Number three, the splitting pattern. You see, it's not natural. So you can tell, you know, I can I even spell the word wrongly. I'm a right-hander, okay? But over here, it's very smooth. There's no post modification. And lastly, I finished recording its upload. Shift. Thank you. So think about it, how it works for a moment. <laughs> and I do not know how to write backwards. It's a bazaar. <laughs> huh. Okay? It's a tree bazaar. Okay. May say monthly fit. <laughs> okay. So right now. So this is the comparison you saw, the whiteboard and the light board here. Now, besides right, the hands, right, blocking, what else do you see? It, yeah, you see my face, right? La Visage. I think that's very important in any teaching. And that's the reason why some lecturers, they still do not want to uh, drop the physical lecture. They don't want to be video. Because they think that if I put my videos, they can't see me. Okay? But that's not true. I will show you what happened in all the experiments I tried over the past few years.
the progression, okay? I try all the methods, I think, and I tell you the advantage, disadvantage, what you shouldn't try, what is better, okay? So, since a few years ago, Singapore, in fact, the world, like to use the MOOC, right? So, we like to use PowerPoint in Singapore, the lecture notes give students and go through in the class. Now, I record videos. At first, there's no face on the left. Just my cursor. At the end of the semesters, some students feedback because we are very hard on feedback system. You no, know? great the lectures, how good or how bad, you no know, improvement. And then some commented about five percent. I don't know this guy. <laughs> Who is he? Yeah, it shows that these students did not come for my real tutorial classes. They think that flip classroom is just oh, I watch video, I skip classes. Okay, but more importantly. The person doesn't know me. He, he knows my name, but I don't know how he looks like. So there's a connection lost. That's very bad. So the next semester, I re-recorded again. But this time, I put the webcam and record my face together, side by side. Okay? So everybody knows me. <laughs> but then there's some comments say, oh, I'm very distracting, my face there. Distracting because sometimes when I got bad hair, you know, you know my button is not up. A yawn or something, yeah? And some other pe people thought that um, they need to see two screens, what I'm doing and my face, my expression. But I thought that the way I record this is very valuable because it's, I imagine when I record, it's the real students. I just imagine, right? So you have the emotions that's real. And sometimes you pause at the parts that's very important. The seniors always you know, make mistakes and they say it's important. But without the face, you just is very important, but your eyes, your muscles will show. This is what I want to capture. So I think that with the talking head, it's still better. In semester three, I do it with this, and I edit my face out, so I have two duplicates. You want to see me, go ahead. You find distracting, you take the other one. Okay? So my advice now is, right, if you want to do this, you first record your face first, and then you have the freedom to take it out and put separately instead of me doing again and again. Um, so bottom right was learned from the Khan Academy. That's very successful. No face, I tried that. Yeah. But there was a problem we an, an encountered last time. They do not know the lecturer. Some say that, how do we know that you're not a robot? You're, you're human, okay? And there was also one reason why we had put our face up. But not everybody is comfortable putting our face up, especially in Asia. So, I find that there's a light bulb in a university two years ago, right? And nobody wanted to use it for eight months. I didn't even know it existed. Someone just said, oh, we have this studio. We want to try. I said, what? Why nobody want to use it? And it is because, right, some people try it, and then they see the video. Oh, they're very scared, you know? It's not perfect. Yeah, they look very badly or what? Yeah. Mm, I think it's really about courage. When you record one time, you see you're not good, they give up. But when you do so many times, you become very natural. And then small imperfections. These are what we are humans, right? We are not perfect. And I like it because we are showing students we are just humans like you. They will learn to make mistakes because we show them a bit of our mistakes too. These are not bad mistakes like you teach the wrong things. This could be like you pause for a while, like, um, you know, but not too much, just a bit. You think it is not like scripted because we are not professional actors. Because if it's very professional, they think, oh, okay, um, are you even a teacher or oh, yeah, an actor? You can hire somebody, right? Uh, Vincent Cassel to do it, who's more handsome than me, right? Yeah, you don't need to. So over here, we solve a few problems and introduce you know, some good effect. That is, oh, the people at the back, right? Uh, you can't see because you're being blocked, yeah? It's annoying. Good students who want to just copy all the time. They don't want time wasted. Lightboard, you can see me or see what I write all the time. Okay? Yeah. So the advantage is it's very dynamic because it's like real time lecture, it's one to one. You have your own screen, you're looking to my eyes, I'm big or so, not like your small screen there, right? It's very real and natural. And then there's no need for post production. So you don't have to like cut, put effect, animation, you know, and edit, no need. It is like having that camera right there, and then you stop, take the file, upload onto your uh, Blackboard, your Moodle, or YouTube. That's it. So you cut the time shot for the lecturers too. 
and that is an incentive for us to do. Okay? And lastly, there's no need to write bad words. No need to. But how did that happen? Right? Anybody have any clue here? Okay. <laughs> yes? Madam? Two screens, okay. Uh, you mean by digital way? Mm. Uh, other universities, they do, it, they do a post-modification, like uh, DNA replication. They uh, click and then they flip the screen, okay? But that's more work and we don't want to do more work. I was saying that you can stop the camera and voila, and then you can just upload. Anybody, uh, physicist here? The mirror. Exactly, the mirror. On Francais, c'est quoi? Mirror. Mirror, mirror on the wall, okay? Yeah. And I would like to introduce one more point about this light bulb is, when we finish drawing it, that's the end. The video length is about eight minutes or less. It's just nice. I survey, I find that students, they are not interested in our lecture videos online because they're too long. Not because we're boring, no, it's just too long. The first thing you look at is the duration. 15 minutes, no. Single digit, put that, okay? Sunk, we. Oui. Because they may wait for the you know, canteen downstairs, right? The long queue, they just read. They do not like to stop and continue. I noticed. I asked them, what is the difference, right? You continue, they just don't like it. So what I did was, I took my long lectures, 15 minutes, I cut it into 555, and I see more viewers. <laughs> yeah, again, it's surprising, but somehow we're gonna do it for them, okay? I guess it's human nature. Back to when we're younger, when we see a thick book, oh, you know, I need a lot of effort to finish it, maybe I don't start. Same thing for them, even for us too. Any questions for now? Please ask me anytime. A normal question here is, the lecturer say, um, there's not enough space for me to finish you know, what I want to teach. But I think that this is the right time to stop. What you can do is, you pause, stop the video, and then you erase some parts of it, you continue in part two, part three. Number one thing is the duration. That matters a lot, okay? So that's the studio in Singapore. Suhi has the privilege of going in and recording it. She can tell you a bit more in French later on about her experiences. We have a television in front here. So I will stand behind the glass board, Le Vier, and then I just write normally. From the back view, I do though, and I look through the glass to see the televisions, what I'm writing. This is a bonus because if you need to save some money, you might not have the television. You just focus on what you write, okay? But why is it important is, with the screen, sometimes we get excited, okay? Not the French way I learned, okay? Not just we excite, I was like, yeah. Oh. Then you write outside of the screen, and then you just continue so happy, like, done. And, and then after that, so, oh, it's missing all this because it's not captured. Then you get so frustrated, and then you feel like, I don't want to do it again, right? So with that TV, you know how big you're writing, whether it's legible, whether it's correct. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. But it's possible to combine PowerPoint with the, and write <coughs> on the PowerPoint something like with this uh, solution or not? There's another technology, not the, not the um, light bulb, but another form of technology. I think here also they have a unit to cater to that. I've seen that. So um, if you want to use the light board and PowerPoint, there's more work, I would say at least three times because you need to plan for the space to project and afterwards and it's not synchronized. This is really like beginning, you just write and doodle. Yeah, okay. So what if you teach a complex chemistry module or biology, you know, with a big protein? You can't draw so fast, right? And there's no point for them to wait for you to draw. You can't even draw it. You can pre-draw them first on uh, transparency, or print it, and then say, so here you go, ta, you paste it on the screen. Then you save time, okay? So, although it seems very good, there are some slight problems. And the problem is, when I teach stereochemistry, I use a molecular model. You have a 
R and the S, right? Okay. When I put a model, so I just teach normally. I don't need to think about what they see. I just say, oh, this is clockwise. But what happened is, it is a mirror. So what's shown on the screen is anti-clockwise, opposite. But I say clockwise. Then they're like, hey, is there a mistake somewhere? Then they don't have the trust of the video. Because the point is the lecturer is supposed to just be natural and do normally. Not to think it's flip, I need to switch left and right swap. No, just do naturally. So slight problem, if you see that, those are the physical model, I hope. Presenter view, what we see. The opposite view, that means you're the audience, right? This is the screen here I'm writing normally. You see the opposite. In the camera view, it's flip again. Is it very confusing for people to understand or you are clear what I'm saying? Yeah, okay. Yeah. This is only happening if you hold something and do it this way. But if you draw everything on the screen, it's fine because it's all flipped together. Yeah. So some results. In the year 2015 to 2016, I had this class. Year one students, they are from biology. They have to take one chemistry course they have no choice to pass and continue. They hated the course because it's so much chemistry. That's why they don't take it. They take other sciences. Total number of students, 641. One lecturer in a big hall. Okay? There's not enough seats. Not enough seats. And then uh, the great point is the exam performance. Highest is 5, the best. They get 3.51 just to pass. A lot of failures, they could repeat it, they're not very motivated. Effectiveness, I'm doing okay. Those are the statistics. The year after, this is with the light bulb. The difference is the light bulb. And you see that there's an improvement. And Roman size is still big, 400 plus. Okay? But everything has improved. Less failures, it shows that they're more engaged. And from the words, the comments they give, is all positive for the light bulb. Zero negative for the light bulb. They say, good. The only thing that's neutral, okay, not bad, is I produce too much. 133 light bulbs, they have no time to finish everything. But I do not force students to learn. I believe that as educators, it must be self-directed. We must be motivated to learn ourselves. No point forcing it, scolding. It doesn't help. But we try to make it more interesting for them to be engaged. That's all. And when they see our effort that we try very hard, we are not lazy, they feel, okay, let's do it together. Okay? Because I think the students, they always think the professors or lecturers, you use the same notes every year for, for five years, then you change, right? Yeah, where's the effort? Then why should I be hardworking? But if you show them the way, then they're like, you see, you are really guiding me the right way, not just telling me to do it, but you're not doing it. So this is the paper. You can have more information there. You can ask me any questions. For now, I would like to show some more demonstrations using the YouTube. I like to show failures. Things are not good because we learn from mistakes. <laughs> so it's good to play a bit of music before the introduction. Let's look at the substituents. What did we not cover? Here. Oh. That's okay. No, no, I won't It's fine. You see, this is not toxic, though. Let's continue. <laughs> then, my production team was like, they want to say cut. You see, they stop. I had, I say, no, continue. <coughs> because it's really natural, bona fide. This is what we happen. Then I can show people what we do. And I teach the students that you should prepare non toxic markers, right? It is chemistry. So we build humor and lively, then they enjoy it. Okay? But of course, after that, you know, this shirt is okay. It's an old shirt, but I had the other chance, you know, it's very hard to clean the ink away. It sticks. It's expensive. That's all. So be careful. If you're using light board, choose something, right, in case the market will leak. Okay? It will stain your shirt. Yeah. Hmm. And it's good. Yeah. How can you put a new layer on your, on your uh, drawings here? Because it should be on your side, so the camera shouldn't be able to see it, right? Ah, yes. So for these videos, just this one, I edited, I put things. Because I would like to showcase of my failure of the ink spillage. So you see the 
title of this is called Shenanigan. It's like a prank by the light bulb on me because of the ink. So this is not to teach students about this concept, it's just to share with educators what to become beware of. Okay? Other tips include we shouldn't wear too bright, like white is very bad because I tried, you can't see the words and that defeats the purpose. Wearing dark is good, but black noir is not good because it's the same as the background. And then uh, what happened is we look like ghosts moving around. <laughs> it's very scary. Yes, okay. Another good thing about the light bulb is because I teach the model, model about um, how do you draw the Neumann again, again, you see this projection. One, two, Neumann projection, right? I used to angle it on my webcam to turn. Sometimes I miss the view and it's very hard. But with the light bulb, you can zoom in to this ball part. I just be steady and I can draw at the same time. Okay? So you don't have to think that, oh, light bulb, it must show your face. No need. It's really fine, okay? But it solves many problems. Okay. Yeah. Because when you put this together with the actual drawing, they can see, oh, in the model, right, what is overlapping? Yeah. What's the gauge formation? Any questions now? I'd like to ask. Well, I had a question I couldn't answer, so maybe you can tell us what's the composition of your non toxic ink. <laughs> well, I look at the, the marker, right? They say non toxic. They didn't want to review the ingredient because, right, the marker is a bit expensive, maybe a few euro, yeah, because it's fluorescent, they're fluorophore, so that it will illuminate in the light, okay? They didn't say the ingredient. But I can mention that there are two different marks, two different brands, okay? One, they use more liquid. One, they use more uh, powder. Powder is good because it doesn't leak. The ink one, they sometimes drip. They drip, right? Then it makes the whole video unusable. Then I just cancel and redo and cut. However, if you uh, use the one that's uh, powder, the bad thing is, listen, ecoute. Ah, it's a movie. Mm. It's not good, okay? But that was my first few times doing. I've learned that, right? We don't have to write so hard. Just get the right feeling to make sure the ink is there. That's okay. Yeah. So there's a bit of compare and contrast here, okay? And one of the first comments I get, you see in the YouTube, right? Is, um, yeah, good comments. If they don't tell me, I won't even know. You waste time. And then, uh, yeah. Yeah. So, so squeaking, yeah. like a Konak. Lift the glove. You see, these are, yeah, questions. I have a question. How long does it, does it take to, to record for five minutes uh, video? Five minutes, right? Okay. Yes. How how long the preparation and the shooting and uh, all the all together? Mm. Preparations um, depends on is it from you or I'll just tell you the whole thing. So for me, when I want to shoot next Tuesday, okay, I just book with the manager of the room, okay, and then I just go there, turn on the lights, right, and then start the camera, walk to the screen, and just start teaching. If the video is five minutes, what I do is only five minutes, okay. Because when you're there, you really have an idea of what you want to teach. You need to have a very uh, specific session of five minutes each, so you have to think in advance, how will I put in these five minutes, and how do you prepare this? How long does it take to imagine, okay, this will be my session of five minutes on that topic, and so on. So I think it can take some time. I see. Um, I think, for me, I didn't think too much. What I planned was, right, I just planned the big topic, what I want to teach. So if you see um, the title, like on the right side here, like E1 versus E2, so I would know that I need to teach this concept. Maybe the bot doesn't allow me to finish everything, but it's okay, because I can have part two and continue, right? Remember, the bot will tell you when to stop, because we doesn't want to stop. It's natural that, oh, we want to finish it, and it's too long. Too long, then no point. No matter how good we are, they don't watch. So I would say, um, that's for me, okay? I, I didn't think too much. I just title and I just go. Yeah. Because if you think that, oh, I need to teach this map everything, right? And then you do, 
you cannot finish, and then the emotion come in, and then you don't do well. What we want to show is, imagine it's a live lecture, but it's just short, very granular level. Okay? So I would say, go ahead. Don't worry so much if a light bulb teach. But in case, there are moments where suddenly you just go blank, like, I forget what to say, right? It's good to have certain areas on top of the board that's not recorded. You write a bit of points so that you just glance, oh, okay, next, what to do? Yeah. You, you say that there is a team uh, helping you in this uh, work. How many people are involved? How they, what, what are their roles? How does it work? For the first time, I had a grant, so they gave me some manpower, and I didn't know how to use it. So there were three of them. One is for the lighting and the camera, because they know where to focus, adjust, and the lighting. One of the things is about lighting. I visited some other universities that have a light board. The effect is not so good because of the light. Okay? Although other factors come in, like the screen, the thickness and also the materials, yeah, but those are things, but light is very important. Number two, I wasn't the first person in my university to use light bulb. I was the second. The first person to try it, she was a very short person, 1.55 meters. So she was doing this below the half level, it's not nice. Yeah. But these are the problems that we shouldn't be limited to because the light bulb can elevate, you know, and descend, right? These are materials that we are alive. Yeah. Okay. Um, they do the, they help me with the um, the voice, the sound, and then one guy I asked him to help me with the erasing of the squeaking sound. But after I've learned my lessons, I know how to use it. It's just one man. I book and I start and I stop. Yes. So at the beginning, because you do pedagogy, you assist other professors. First time you may need a two person. So that's all for my sharing. And <laughs> you can follow me on social media. If you have any question, we can exchange again, right? It doesn't stop here. So I'm on YouTube and Facebook. Yeah, not Snapchat. I've quit that. Instagram, yeah. <laughs> because the student will just bombard you. You have no time. But Instagram is still public. People can help to answer questions. That's my other topic. I will come back next time to France, maybe in summer. And this is another thing I will showcase to you, how to use the 360 virtual reality to teach, to teach the broche sessions. Okay? Because they have the, all the perspective. Yeah. So I'm here to answer questions. Thank you very much for your attention. Um, so you're saying that the students need to work at home watching your video and uh, preparing the lesson for uh, tomorrow's lesson, for example. Uh, so the watching a video costs more time than reading a book, for example, or reading a lesson. So basically, you're saying that the student need to work, work uh, for a long, longer time every evening, for example, than if they had a lesson on the book? Mm. Um, in Singapore, we don't have a habit of reading textbooks. We use lecture notes, and then um, that's it. So unlike America, where there's no notes, they just write or they give a textbook, people read. We are a bit different. It's true that students find that they spend more time watching videos, OK? But sometimes it's a good thing because the more they go through, there's more retrieval practice. It's from psychology. So and we are not forcing them to watch every night. They can do it long, long way before on the weekends, any time of the day. So we have to highlight the good things. OK? Yeah. And not everybody will watch. We can't guarantee all will watch. But this is the effect. Can we have an idea of the price uh, for this kind of board, please? Yes, the price, right, it ranges. The lowest around 4,000 euros. You can get one from America. You can build at home. But those are, you have wooden frames, wooden frames, maybe a bit shaky. Smaller glass board, you can't write so much, and it's not so nice. Here in Singapore, we are luxury. We have a, about a 21,000 euro, the whole thing, because of the studio, the, the light, you see? Expensive, the light, the camera. Yeah. And this board here, in between the two glass, we had two glass. Inside, we put LED. Yeah. So for us, it's, uh, 
less expensive to come to Singapore and to register <laughs> there. <laughs> uh, yeah, but I think it's a very good investment. In fact, I was talking at Hong Kong and other countries about the light bulb. Everybody want to get one. Price is one thing, but it's for long-term investment. You see, this is always there. What can go wrong? Maybe the light bulb dies after a couple of years, right? It should have a longer lifetime than a spectral photometer. Yeah, so it's good to invest. And because it's there, you can, everybody can use it. Yes. <laughs> yeah. um, can you tell us how many other people from your university are using the light bulb beside you? And the short lady. Yes, I get it. Question two. So right now, um, total number, I'll say is about eight. It's because right, I was the main person who used it. Everybody see me, oh, light bulb guy, you know, the, the guy. And then he's, they see my videos, they, they're very scared. Because I make so many, I make 133 in 2.5 days. I just do non-stop. I, I had no fear, so I just do. I just do. Wrong, I do, just do again. Yeah. Just don't care so much. Yeah, I used to think, you know, oh, no, when you show your face there and then bad hair, you don't look good. No, it's really okay after a while. You get over it. So the hesitation comes. They want to use it, but maybe from chemistry, zero people because um, I'm experienced. If they start now, they're not so experienced. They look bad, they think, okay? So we have engineering professors. In fact, the, the last health department from the Center of Teaching and Learning, he's using it now because he really sent it, right? The engagement is there. And it's more effective, yes. So it's about putting aside our ego, you know? Just, we believe in it. And let students, right, think, I mean, we are working hard for you. It's just doing it for you. We spend more time, yes, preparing, okay? Because if there's anything wrong, we could redo, yeah. People say, yeah, you shoot it and you can use it for a few years, video. Yes and no. Because some knowledge will change. We need to give more new examples, right? But I will say that these videos, I can use it for two years minimum, two to three, then I will revisit again. So what is the impact of these uh, videos? Like uh, how many views on YouTube you, you get for your videos in uh, average? Yes, um, it depends on the topic. So some I get uh, two digits, some uh, three digits, some thousands or tens of thousands. Yeah. And I find that it is, I show it to the world. So it tells me that um, there's certain topics that the lecturers are not doing well in certain countries and they might teach wrongly. Even the professors get confused. Um, I find that NMR is very good. UV, UV vis spectroscopy, these are topics that people want to know from other countries too, especially with the light board here. Like, um, I also do some tutorials on light board. That means I say, this is the problem. You have a 10 seconds to think through, then you pause, because they have time to think on the spot. Then, okay, let's continue to go through, because it's really instant. What I'm trying to showcase is light bulb is like a pseudo quasi live teaching, in a way. Hmm. Other questions? Please feel free. Yeah. Like, who's interested in the light bulb right now? Who wants to do it now? If you have it right here, yes. Good, exactly, you have to try. Yeah, yes, see, we, okay, yes. Size, yeah, different sizes. Mm. The one I had was one of the largest. I saw in other faculties, uh, universities, smaller, smaller um, might be limited. Because with this board already, right, I sometimes have trouble finishing it, but this is just nice. Small, you might be restricted, and when we think that the space is small, what do we do? We write smaller. Not good. Not good. Yeah. Okay. Do you notice that part here? I do a shortcut here. I paste it up immediately. Yeah? I pre-draw. Ding! Like that. Now, if you want to use Lightboard, these are some tips again. If you pause for too long, I would say more than six seconds, right? You have to cut the video. I asked last time when I was doing it, can you, you know, just do a slight transition, you know, move it to the next slide? They say no, because we have high standards, say just one take, like acting, one take, we do again. Because I observe other places, they cut and then um, they edit. It doesn't feel so good because you jump a little bit, you know? Yeah. <laughs> okay. 
So if you have someone who doesn't stop talking, it's very good. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, okay. I think it's something to do with the personality also. Lively people, very good, and doesn't stop talking, very good. The people who does really well, even better than me, right, is the, those football commentators. <laughs> they comment about football, non-stop talking, right? Yeah, go. Yeah, but they don't need to use light board. Just saying. Okay? Yeah. Always bring a smile to your face, definitely. Yeah. And then uh, show some, some skin, I think is good. Yeah, not too, too serious with suit. Yeah. <laughs> too serious. And, yeah. <laughs> well, uh, the initial thought was that it was a personal reason, okay? Um, but then after I see one time, I think it looks very good, you see? People think I, wear, I um, drive a motorbike or that. It gives people the curiosity. In fact, when you put something there that makes people curious, right? You draw people to see the videos first and then they look at the content. I might wear a badge and say, what is he wearing? But what you want is to garner interest. Students think we are boring people. They think we're boring, ah, professors, you know. You studied for so long with a master's, PhD, you know, in a school all the time. <laughs> in fact, we have more life than them. <laughs> yeah, just with Vivong. Hmm. Okay, yes? Um, how, do you, thank you. Yes. how do you deal with the internet culture? You know, on the internet, people can be very harsh sometimes on the comment section, but I believe that most of your subscribers are your own students and they are very respectful. But sometimes you can have some people who um, just want to say bad things on the comment section. So how do you deal with it? So, well, I just had a bad comment just today morning, you see? I think it's from overseas, I don't know, not a fan of me. You just said, oh, I misspelled center. In fact, I treasure good, bad feedback more because our culture is we don't say bad things about people, you know? Just imagine you don't see because it's professor, right? I, I, I wouldn't like you if I say bad things about me, but I like to see. So what I did was, okay, I click. I spell as center, the English way. <laughs> so you just ignore it. We don't engage with fear, but sometimes in the past, oh, I really mix up slight things, or I forgot to draw an H, or I draw a CL, but it's too close, become a D. Then I'll say, oh, thank you, you know. Then I cut it out, you know, I put something else. Yeah. So we have to be open. And I guess uh, because I'm a bit younger and a bit more kuhajo, that's why I do it. I waited for three years because when I joined university, I wanted to post everything on YouTube to get comments, right? My mentor say, no, 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 no. Then you don't want to, you just want to follow. I asked why, they say, oh, what if they give all the negative comments? It's not good for me, my name, my university. But I find that, you look at the ratio, there will be people, you know, yeah, <laughs> haters will be haters. But you have fans, you know the ratio. We know that we're doing it for the students, right? We have the heart, that's most important. The effort, that's fine. We answer to our conscience. <laughs>